So, a quick bit of reorganising, and I've got myself a handy little gadget. I've put a little panel here that I've just slotted in. Uh, I've poked a red LED here. I've put the ESP8266 so it's not quite flapping in the breeze. Um, and attached the batteries with just a bit of blue tack. Yes, it's a bodge. But this is going to be temporarily a recording light for me. So that I can use my phone or my laptop to quickly log in, turn this on, and then my family knows that I'm recording. So I don't actually have a studio. My lab is also my living room. Um, it is the same circuit. I've just brought that LED up here. Uh, again, blue tack used to hold it in along with a little bit of pressure on those uh, cables there. I've put blue tack around here and there's far more than I really need. Uh, that just keeps all of those pins in line. And this will probably hold up for a while. It'll give me the uh, LED I need. Uh, I'll have to find out how long I get these batteries going for. I should probably calculate using the data sheet for the regulator and the ESP8266. And why should I have a recording light that's Wi-Fi controlled? Well, it can go on top of a door. I can then control it from my laptop or phone. I don't need to reach up to the door and get to it every time. Very handy. Here's the uh, 8266 powered recording light at the top of a door. Now, my wife's one comment was that that light needs to be a lot bigger and a lot brighter. So I might see if I can find some extra brightness LED, which means I'll probably have to put a power transistor in between the 8266 and the LED. But uh, that is kind of handy. And look, there's no wires coming out either side. It's all powered by that battery. I've now got myself a recording light. Awesome.